What has happened in BC Spirit? Spirit of Day number 60. The big six zero, which means I've been doing this about two months, which is kind of awesome. I like it. Um, today we're going to be doing the Okanagan Spirits Cherry Liqueur. Now, I've done this on a liqueur episode before. I don't love cherries. A lot of people have a love or hate relationship for cherries. Um, I don't know what it is, whether it's the Robitussin or the, the kid's medicine you get when you're a kid that people are like, nope, cherry's not for me. But that being said, I do like cherry pie with some creme fraiche, nice war like warm cherry pie with some creme fraiche on top, money. Um, and the thing is, is cherry is always hard because there's some great cocktails, the blood and sand, um, and a few other co great classic cocktails with cherry brandy in it. Um, and cherry brandy is very, very different now than it was back then when the cocktails were done. This is a cherry liqueur. And I think honestly, if you're gonna make blood of sands or anything with cherry brandy, cherry herring, this is a great local alternative. On the nose, to, oh, to be honest, it reminds me of cherry pie on the nose, like old school bakery shops, that, that beautiful sweet pastry, like really, really tasty. It just makes my mouth water because it just reminds me of like cherry danishes and cherry pie. Oh. On the palate, the acidity is a little bit lighter than I find with a lot of other BC liqueurs, especially Okanagan Spirits and, and a few other the distilleries that do liqueurs, but it's just cherry on cherry. It's a beautiful cherry too. It's a real bite into a cherry sort of uh, taste. What they do is they basically just pound a whole bunch of cherries into a vat, fill it with fruit uh, based, fruit -based uh, spirit, and let it infuse, and then back sweeten it a little bit to bring it to the alcohol content and the sweetness. Very, like very low residual sugar. I'm not sure if it's a, a like a, a placebo, it's not a placebo, a, uh, uh, it's gonna come to me, but um, it's very, you're getting that sort of bakery, pastry sort of taste, those vanillas and, 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 and pastry style flavor profiles. And so I'm not sure if that's, uh, just in my head or is actually a, a flavor. Uh, I'm looking forward to tasting this later on when I do my, my taste notes on the blog, but yeah, like very, very cherry pie. Um, if you'll love, if you do cherry, uh, cherry sours or blood and sands, I would suggest going for this cherry. I think this is the only cherry liqueur in BC as well. So it's always a good one to keep going local. Um, local uh, blood and sand would be awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.